My name is Stephanie Angomwile. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Stewards Globe Limited, trading as AfriSeed in Zambia. AfriSeed is a local seed company that was uh, founded in 2007 as a farming business. And over the years, the company evolved to become a seed company in 2011. From that time onwards, the company started uh, multiplying seeds, starting off with legumes, uh, working with about 95 smallholder farmers. The company has grown from a, a complement of about three members of staff. I was the CEO, as well as the finance manager, as I was a driver. Uh, and today we pride ourselves to a, a complement of about 90 permanent staff and about 120 seasonal staff. Uh, in, in busy uh, seasons, we even reach about 200, uh, 200 workers. When I came in um, as a seed company in 2011, farmers were getting as little as 500 kgs per hectare in maize. But with the increase in adoption of uh, hybrid maize, farmers have been able to increase even up to two tons, which is uh, very commendable for the partnership we have uh, with the CG centers in, in taking uh, new varieties to the farmer's field. I'm a farmer, I depend on farming. When we just started farming, we used to plant local maize and uh, the yields were not very good. We used to have very, very low yields. So we started planting other varieties, which were hybrids. But we also found that our yields were not very, very good. Then we got introduced to Afri seed. When we got introduced to Afri seed, we have been planting Afri seed for the last five years. Our yields have been very, very good. Uh, we set ourselves to solve the issue of farm productivity. We've been able to increase farm productivity. Apart from uh, receiving uh, parent seed, we've also received training. Some of our technical staff have been to Zimbabwe to be trained in various, uh, you know, uh, technical knowledge. Other support that we've been able to receive from, from CIMIT is also demand creation. As a local seed company, you are competing with a lot of multinationals and you have a small budget. So CIMIT has been able to come into, into the fore to help the company um, increase demand for our hybrid maize. We've got a wide range of uh, product portfolio that we offer to our, to our farmers. And I must mention that we've got a specific interest in our small scale growers and we offer the following crops. So we've got uh, maize, uh, we've got soya beans, we've got sunflower, we've got beans, uh, which is a common beans. And then uh, we also have uh, other legumes such as cowpea and uh, cereals such as uh, rice. In the last couple of years, we've had quite uh, some drought that has happened, and uh, we've tested our crop AF-635 in those drought tolerant areas, and it has done pretty well. We've got so much testimony that has come through as feedback from, from our growers and our customers, who are the farmers, basically. Over the years, the company has added other products, such as uh, sorghums, and other small grains. This is because the company wanted to respond to a market opportunity that was happening in Zambia as well as in the region. CIMIT has helped us join the International Maize Consortium uh, through um, our membership program. Uh, they introduced us to the membership program, uh, which we joined uh, two years ago, with the objective for us of ensuring that we increase our genetic pool because this hybrid market is very competitive. So we need to be ahead of, uh, of the market and introduce products that are you know, environmentally adaptable as well as uh, you know, beneficial to our farming uh, communities. The business model is centered around smallholder farmers on the supply chain as well as the market. On the supply chain side, company works with about 1,300 smallholder farmers who are multiplying legumes and some commercial farmers who are multiplying hybrid maize. People think we have got medicines that we use, the charms, 
but we have told them to say it's, it's nothing to do with the charms. It's about Afrisid.